Hey everyone, ZeroJD here with the XBLA Fans Channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of Shinobi Non Grata. Before we begin, there are some parts of this game where the screen flashes, so just a head up for anyone who is sensitive to that. This is a side-scrolling semi-boss rush game. I say semi, uh, mostly because the main part of the game are bosses, but there are these very, very short in-between sections where you are fighting normal enemies, but this is mostly an area to get the souls that power your sub-weapons back, and to find some health power-ups and just normal power-ups and just to beat up really easy one hit or two hit enemies. I've actually beaten the first two bosses, uh, first three bosses, and I've seen the fourth, and I've really enjoyed this game so far, actually. Uh, so this is me. I can run around. I can double jump. I can roll to avoid uh, attacks you have in vulnerability when you roll. And of course, I have my normal sword. But if you look at the upper left there, you can see my health. And below that is my soul gauge, which powers my sub weapons. I got shurikens. I have a... Oh, I killed someone. I have uh, this fun kunai and chain, which is really good for clearing out uh, a range of enemies. I got a big old gun, which does a lot of damage. I also have these grenades. I haven't used them much yet. Uh, this electric gun, which allows me to... Uh, hit one enemy and it arcs to the next enemy. And then I have the screen clearing attack here, but uh, let's go. So from where we just started was the end of the uh, last boss that I fought. We're not going to dwell too long on these enemies here because the game actually uh, supplies enemies during boss fights for you to beat up. Ooh, shadow clones. And you know how I said uh, the normal areas are short? That was one of them. That's it. And now we're right to the boss. He's actually a special boss. He's probably the end of the chapter. The first boss was a man with a laser. The second boss was a giant centipede. And the third one was a lady who shot bees at me. Oh, he forgot. He gets He's invulnerable until the uh, his little intro cutscene goes away. Gotta remember. I'm getting a little overzealous. Oh. Oh, I think you can only be attacked right after he attacks. It's fine, like I said before, and like you saw, these sections are super short. Using the grenade to keep some distance might be a smart idea. You do get points, but I don't really see the point of them. There is a ranking system, but... I must restore peace to the land. Eat this fish. So far, it's actually taken me two tries per boss to defeat them. All right. Okay. So that might be the uh, the way to go with him is the grenades, which seems to be the theme for this game. There we go. There seems to be one weapon that's perfect for the enemy, the boss. Per area. Uh oh. We're fine. There we go. Roll. Alright, so the reason that's probably good is because it has multiple hits in it. Alright, we got this. We're fine. One more, and I should be able to finish him off. Get him right in the head. And that should... Got him. Yeah. Very satisfying. Cutscene. Sure you will. I 
So she popped up earlier and talked at me. Yeah, the dead walk within. Yeah, all right. Rising of the dead. I'm going to actually... Oh. So that's how the uh, the electrical gun works there. Money. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. I have the power of walking on rooftops, though. But I, I really do like that I had to alter my strategy... For that boss, I was like, I'm just gonna run up and shoot him. Like, no, just hang back and throw grenades at him. Hello there. How are you? Here, have a grenade. Okay, we got this. All right, we might be able to just brute force this with grenades. Nope, not quite. And I'm going to assume at some point that there will be a boss who just rushes me and I can't just throw grenades at it. I wouldn't have time. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to go beat whatever the heck that thing was. I like this tail, though. I don't know why I killed those guys. I do like that the game does refresh you before the boss. Get out of here. Go away. Grenades. But am. There we go. I did get hit, but I did get some hits on him. We're fine. Wow, that grenade is really overpowered. Uh-oh. Uh. I like that the box wiggles. What is the name of those boxes, specifically, if anyone knows? Because I know in Demon Slayer, that's what he carries uh, Nezuko in. Are they just, are they literally just like, like old time, I say old time, uh, Japanese feudal era backpacks? All right, we'll do one more boss and see if I can just grenade spam him. Because if it works in Call of Duty, it works in anything. If I don't fight a giant zombie. Hi there. Grenade. Okay. So it might take a bit more than grenade spam to figure him out. What I probably need to do is jump over his giant sword and then roll through him. Ow, jerk. Fish. Get rid of you early on. Oh, lucky cat. I actually want to get one of those for my room, the little one that waves, but I'm kind of worried that my kitten will just smack the bejesus out of it. All right, we're going to try grenade spam one more time. Huh, kunai. All right, so that goes a lot faster than... Oh, boy, it does come back. Okay, all right. So you have to jump over, attack, and then jump back over. He's only vulnerable when his uh, giant thing is gone. So that might be a job for the sword. Or not the sword, the, uh, the big old cannon there. 
Or maybe even the electrical gun to also clear out the zombies. But anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you so much for watching. I am happy that that grenade spam technique will not work on every single boss. That would have been really uh, a, a bit of a letdown. But anyways, have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone.